Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Alright, let's go see the man. I've applied some graphic uh, graphical tweaks, I'm not sure if there's a real difference in it. There, it's only small, mo mainly anti-aliasing, but anyway. Yeah. Let's go see the man. It's a bit weird playing a shepherd with such short hair, considering I've always played shepherd with uh, the hairstyle that I did. Or on female shepherd with the uh, long hair. Well, longer hair anyway. <laughs> Not really long, but still. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. As I see it, let's go see the man, the big guy, the elusive man, the guy who single-handedly added a great deal of depth and complexity to this fucking game until they turned him into a complete imbecile in Mass Effect 3. Jack Harper. Even though the origin story for him is complete dog shit, as is every comic for Mass Effect. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? that our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. The Well, I know some people like Miranda. I'm not sure who really likes Jacob. I think he's okay. I wouldn't say I necessarily like him, but I think he's okay as a character, still. Let's get going. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. 
It's up to you to do the rest. You spend four billion credits on a symbol. Well, I guess people have spent less money on other symbols, uh, or actually more money, comparatively, on other symbols in this world. For the organization, though, it's a pretty significant decision, though. Yeah, more disruptor ammo. It's gonna be quite useful on mechs and uh, on shields, obviously. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Interesting, except that I ended up fighting Cerberus because I was forced to, whereas you turned against them yourself, bitch. Just a um, small, small point about uh, Miranda Lawson. She's an utter cunt. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Screw you too. Killing Miranda is difficult. You need to have her unloyal. She's the she's literally the hardest to kill squad mate in the fucking game. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Maybe. We'll see. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good guy, Jacob. Whatever else may be said about you, you're, you're a good, good guy. Man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. There's a... Uh... Admittedly, some things that have changed since I've played this game, in a sense. 
of my own perspectives on uh, such matters. Governments are not as inefficient as Bioware would like us to believe. Just to make that point on that uh, subject right there. Yeah, just blew up a space station. That might have been expensive. Tim's report, huh? Okay. So, freedom's progress. What's annoying is that the loading screen is the animation. You can probably speed them up with the mod or something. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters, or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. I'm not sure you'll be happy about that by the end of it, Jacob. Really? So here we are, freedom's progress. Get the renegade points. Okay. Well, let me just level up the bitch. Whatever you might think about her personality, she is actually the best fucking squad mate you can have on your team. I'm deadly serious, she boosts your damage. Really, 7.5% and you can get it uh, even further. That kind of makes it annoying because you have to deal with her, but still. Alright, let's investigate that colony. Anisotropic filtering X, uh, X16. I enabled that. Looks nice, you can enable that from control panel all of that. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. <laughs> or they were taken in the middle of dinner. Just uh, fought, Jacob. Maybe I should just keep the music going, but lower the sound effects. Alright. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage. And no signs of battle. Wait, isn't there a pad that I... I know what pad that is. No. Not that it seems. Alright, let's hurry then. Well, at least he has a gift plasma shotgun. And she has Change a phalanx. Rearming. She has a phalanx pistol, even though she kept the shotgun. Oh wait, the SMG is actually part of Kasumi's DLC. Oh man, I will. I am not looking forward to doing that. I actually don't like Kasumi's DLC or Kasumi all that much, quite frankly. were disabled at the other colonies. Warning, hostile force is taking on standard ammunition. Alright. Okay. 
Shoot them before. Yes, yes, yes. Let's use the pistol. <clears throat> Go. Oh shit. I fucked up. Yeah, I was I was distracted by that particular point. Uh, got the fucking phone call. Anyway. Okay. This might be the only po challenging portion of the entire fucking game because you don't have the DLC weapons. No, no, you don't have to use that, but that's like. But there's quite a few bullet sponges as well. No, not as much as in the sec in the third game, or the first even. All right. Let's take it down. forces have engaged. Huh. Enemy down. On No recoil, or very little recoil, actually. Of course, ammo is a concern. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. I actually don't like the Avenger as an assault rifle at all. I don't like its shape. Sound-wise, well, I like the Mass Effect free sounds, but then again, Dice helped TA do that. So what do you expect? Maybe they'll help them with Mass Effect uh, 4. Dice know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to that level. You know, actually, EA would be smart to have a game that's written by Bioware, with art designed by Bioware and all of that. Uh, and Enemy the overall fight. gameplay designed by Bi the Mass Effect team, but... Handled by dice on a technical uh, level, you know, both visually and I, uh, I don't like it. Just technical in general, really. Performance-wise, you know, optimization, technical graphics, etc., etc. Et I think they do a phenomenal job. But then again, the Bioware team is capable of doing a pretty good job on their own. Or at least a Mass Effect team is. Stop right there! Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Praza, weapons down! This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I know Cerberus has a bad past, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonies. The Council turned its back on humanity. I haven't. Tally, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus? No. I'm trusting Shepard. And besides, we could use the help. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. 
Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. You too, Tally. And I'm not doing that just because I want to be nice to her. No. It's stupid to fight over this when you've got careful, mutual Shepard. enemies. A squad of security drones up ahead. I'm probably going to be more way. renegade than Paragon. But still. Critical failure, huh? You cannot stop Shepard. And what? <laughs> Alright, at least no one's gonna die on our side from uh, Vitor's bullshit. I stress the our side part. Use overload on him. I'll use more than overload, Jacob. The recoil is pretty damn low. Can okay, combine that. Though the approach in this game favors slower, harder hitting guns because that means you're not Shepherd, as exposed. Rhonda and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Hey, I was in good faith. I acted in good faith. That's one of the reasons I did that. To be the one that acted in good faith, not the one who was responsible for that. So I can say, well, you idiots had it coming. Alright. You're done! Okay. Shotguns in this game suck. Hurry, Shepard. We are inside the loading docks. We will reprogram the heavy neck. It's tearing Fraza squad apart. They did want right. to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. Uh -huh. I'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. You got it. All right. Come on, Tali. Open the door and we'll go in. <laughs> uh, how's that charge ahead, huh? Bye! Well... Slack. Time for some heavy weapons, right? That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. We do. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Why does he show up with the scimitar shotgun, which you only get like halfway the through the fucking game? Just saying. It's not so easy to get the scimitar. Alright, then anyway. Change weapon. Okay, that's so much for my heavy weapons ammo. Now, when it comes to dealing with this mech, you want to actually come in here, because you've got a power cell for your heavy weapons. Oops. Oh, 
probably gonna go down. All right. I've got him. Stop! It's gonna blow. It blew up. It's over. Okay. Nice and easy. There we go. Quite a bit of credits. You ready, Emma? We can use this. Yes, you can. That's quite a few dead quarians. Was it worth it? This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. All right then. Costine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Freedom's...